Here's our next girl from uh, Skultimate Secrets, uh, Monster High Skultimate Secrets, Monster Mystery Abby is the next doll I am on. I need to open. She has to go up on the shelf with the other dolls. So. She should be actually a fairly simple uh, unboxing. Because... Abby Road? No. Abby Abominable. I dropped my craft knife. It's okay. Ooh, a li you get a mirror with her. Yes. Oh, of course, I dropped my craft knife and there's more things that need to be Opened. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. gonna adjust that real quick. The pixie doll I got was honestly the best unboxing experience I ever had for a toy. Just one elastic holding her to her plastic after making the potion. I wish more companies would dip into that direction to unbox dolls. No, uh, no stupid plastic gib uh, gibbers. I agree. I do agree. Did they ever make a Monster High Mothman? No. Um, I don't think they... I don't think they did. I don't know if they... I don't think they ever actually made a Mothman. Uh, for any of the collector stuff. If they would make a Mothman, it would be for... Like, it would be for the collector stuff. Skullector. So. I uh, you thought of a good name for her, too. I'm gonna put that knife to the side. Uh, I don't think they've ever like I don't think they've tapped into doing um like cryptids like you know monster girls based on like the being the sons and daughters of cryptids. Abby is the only exception because she's the daughter of the abominable snowman, which is just a snow Bigfoot. I mean, the abominable snowman is also a yeti, which is also uh, a yeti is, you know, folklore, but there's also, you know, yeti, Bigfoot, skunk ape, Sasquatch. They they all kind of fall into the same vein. So she's about as close to a cryptid as you're going to get. Uh, you said uh, Molly, Molly Uthman. <laughs> That's a good one, but I think there would be moth in the name. Somewhere, maybe. Um, the only other moth, uh, the only other moth, uh, Monster High character that there is, is, uh, Bonita. Bonita is a freaky fusion, uh, Monster High doll. Um, she's, like, I believe she's, like, she's from the, from the first generation. And she is, uh, the daughter of a moth and a skeleton. And if I remember correctly, 
Yeah, her name would be like Luna Mothlin or something absurd to me. Yeah, exactly. But Bonita is the daughter of a of a moth and a skeleton. And if I remember correctly from the wiki, the mom is the skeleton. And the dad is the moth. Like, you would think the skeleton would be the dad. No, it's the mom. So. I don't know what, like, what I'm supposed to be doing here. I should just uh, uh, twist, put the key in, right? What do the instructions say? Uh, scussy, I guess, right? Search for clues. Chat, do you see any clues? Where do they want you to search for clues at? Dr. Um... Bow... Bow wow. Bark bark! I guess we unlock her, right? Oh. 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 Alright. Clues? <laughs> do... Do we see any clues? Do I have to pull these out? Oh, I just ripped it. Oh, fuck. Alright, I hate it already. The, the the Skultimate Secret um stuff used to be super easy to unlock. Like, why can't we just do the keys? Why do we have to do all of this goofy shit? Clues? That's what I... Because it was too... Uh, apparently it was too easy and people didn't like it. But I liked it because it was easy for me. You know, all I had to do was all I had to do was put the keys in water, and if I didn't have water, I put the keys in my mouth. All I had to do was suck on the keys a little bit to uh, to make them to change their color. Jesse, Jesse, devilish daughter of Jersey Devil. Um, yes. I would, I will, I will take having a child. I have several children. I have two Jersey Devil stuffed animals. Uh, one is named Jersey. The other one is Pine. So, if if they came out with a cryptid collection, like a collector collection of cryptids. And they did like the Jersey Devil as like a, um, as an art, like as a collector's doll. I would fight tooth and nail for it. I would make Seraph stay up <laughs> all hours of the night, uh, refreshing the page to buy it for me. Oh shit, that just popped right open. Why? Uh, he did. He did that with Gulia. Uh, when the Gulux edition of Gulia came out, um, he bought her for me. So, I would fight the scalpers for a Jersey Devil doll. If I ever got into actually, you know, making my own dolls, like uh, customizing them, I would. I would do it. I'm literally just opening all of this because the the gimmick of this pissed me off.
unless I was supposed to um uh figure out clues for who the doll was, even though on the box it says Abby. Oh, who could it be, gang? Who's in the box? I sure hope it's not Draculaura. Like, come on. Because what that tells me is this centerpiece doesn't even open. So, like, I don't even know how we was- how we're even gonna display her on the wall. Like, you can't open that. You slide this bitch out from the top. Peekaboo! So I'll- Yeah, that's a uh, <laughs> Abby jump scare. <laughs> that's not working the same. No, it's not. You can't open this shit. Can you pop it? What's this? Hold on. Is it like an elevator? Hold on, chat. Oh shit. It's like an elevator. Shut up. We could display her like this. This is going to this is going to take some work. It goes, it just, you just kind of shove her back in there, right? And bam! There we go. <laughs> it's like a pop-up gun. Okay. Reload the Abby! I'm reloading! Anyway. All right, we have Abby. Abby's out. I love this outfit. I have to say, this is a much better outfit than her base doll. Her base doll looks like she's wearing pajamas. And like, <laughs> I, so I do, I do like this, um, this outfit a lot better. Now we get to now we get to cut her free of her restraints. Go free. Free into the wilderness. That's the only thing that was holding her in place. Oh my god. Ah I dropped something. What do we always say, chat? It's not a gas stream. Unless, I mean, if I don't drop something. Her hair is stuck in a... Hello? There we go. Okay. All right. So this doll's been out for a while. There's other people who have probably done plenty of reviews on her. I don't really need to review her, but I will give you guys my honest opinion. I love this version of Abby. I think this is fantastic. Um, if you know what her base doll looks like for uh, Gen 3, you know what I mean when I say that it looks like she's wearing pajamas. They did her, they kind of did her a little dirty with her, with uh, her baseline doll. So this, uh, this Skelector doll, or the Skultimate Seeker, I can't say Skelector something, a Skultimate Seeker doll is phenomenal looking. Um, she comes with, she does come with tinsel in her hair. So if you don't like tinsel, uh, be be aware of that. But she has her horns. She's got these cute little horns. Uh, she has pointed ears with molding on them. So the ears are molded to have a, like a uh, like a fur edge. The same thing with her uh, with her wrists. They are molded to have a fur edge. Uh, she's molded with claws. So, 
I don't know the difference in hair type. Don't ask me. I don't know enough about doll hair to tell you whether or not this is Polly or Saran. Um, and because I know the doll community likes one more than the other, I think this might be Polly. Or it might be Saran. Like it's either Polly or Saran. I know it's not nylon. It could be nylon, actually. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know dolls well enough, unfortunately. So, but yeah. So this is her. Uh, these are hers. Her boots look great. Uh, Lola Nessie Montgomery, daughter of Loch Ness monster, claims to have a large extended family in the states. Has yet to be proven, however. I like that. I like Lola Nessie. I like that. That's a good one. Um, like her boots are gorgeous. So, but yeah. So that's her. She does come with extra boots. Her name is Chessie. Oh yeah, that's true. What are the the Chesapeake uh, the Chesapeake monster? There's also Chaplin. Uh, there's Chessie. There's Chaplin. Um, there is the, oh god, it's not in one of the Great Lakes, but there is a dinosaur, I believe it's like the Alaskan dinosaur or something like that, the, the Alaskan mon uh, mosasaur. Um, there's quite a few, uh, uh, relatives to the Loch, to Loch Ness, uh, in the States, so. Uh, but a little fact about, uh, I think Lake Chaplin's monster is, depending on who you ask, um, that, that cryptid is actually owned by two states because the Chaplin Lake borders two states. I think it's, uh, Michigan and New Hampshire, I think. I don't remember. She's got a complex about not being as popular as her mother, the OG Nessie, compensate, uh, compensated by being a social butterfly or a social dinosaur. I do like that. I think that's great. Okay. This is the other girl's brush. So. I'm gonna open this one. Ooh. Oh, she comes with little... She comes with... What is this? Oh, is this her other outfit? Oh my goodness, it comes in parts. She's got booty shorts. Little booty shorts. She's got, like... Oh, these are... She's got, uh... Leggings? Stockings? What do you want to call these? Th uh... Leggings? She's got go-go warmers, leg warmers, go-go leg warmers. She also got gloveys. She has something else going. And I dropped it. I'll find it later. She has a lot going on. She has... I may have to find it, but apparently she does come with a stand. Unless I have to build it. Which wouldn't surprise me. She comes with something. Or oh, unless the stand uh, clicks into one of these. I'm really trying here. Can I release this from from the confines of this? I have to 
it look like this can come out? Thank you, little bitch. Yeah, I will. I'm just, I'm fighting. You know what I need? I need a man strength. Oh, Seraph. Seraph, come hither. See if he actually, uh, actually comes in from the way. I will take a sip, though. Thank you. <laughs> hey, wake up. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? It looks like this... This front part can pop off. Can you see if you can? Well, that's why I needed. I'm pretty sure it's attached. But that's why I need your strength. I understand you're asking for my strength, but what I'm telling you is, looking at it based on its appearance, I don't think it's intended to pop off. If I do, I can break it in half. Apparently. So I can. Is supposed to be a handy? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Smash it to pieces? I don't want to be the first time we did something like that, because this is supposed to, like, attach to something. We're trying to understand. And I don't know where I put the. I probably threw the instructions away, knowing me. Oh. <laughs> That's a hairbrush. <laughs> well, regardless, uh, she's beautiful, and I love her. So, but her, her Skultimate Secret box not opening the way the other boxes opened, uh, what do you need? The brooch. The brooch? I think that's supposed to be decoratively attached to this. Um, her, uh, but her box not opening the way the other boxes open, uh, really puts a damper in me displaying her. But since apparently she comes with a little thing to put on her, it means that she comes with something that attaches. But. Rectangular? Probably that thing I dropped. It's on the floor somewhere underneath me. No, it's like underneath me. Francis, now aka Nightcrawler, the most mysterious attendee of Monster High. Few students even know she exists due to her tendency to only leave her dorm past midnight. While there is something admirable to be said about managing to achieve cryptid status at a school populated almost entirely by cryptids, Francisca, is it Francesca? Francesca. Francesca. Would never claim such an accolade, mostly because of all of the attention it would draw to herself. Wait, is it because she is a Fresno Nightcrawler? <laughs> I like that. What's that? I don't know if that means something else is wrong. I, I, I don't know. I threw away the instructions, so um, that's... Where'd they go? They're in the trash can. So it proves to you why you should never throw the, uh, the instructions away, kids. <laughs> I think I stuffed them into, like, one of the... Goodbye, Buzzy. Uh, one of the decor girls. There you go. <laughs> um, so. Alright, well. Does this go on her? Chest piece. Okay. Look so that, that bar thing yeah. is part of her stand. Oh. She's a, so she does have a stand? 
is this thing? Oh, she's supposed to... Okay, I only have one of those. I don't know where the other one is. Well, first I want this thing so I can make sure it attaches correctly. Oh, he's he's helping me. He's putting her... He is, uh... He's he's figuring it out how to uh put he's solving the mysteries, chat. Yeah, solving the mysteries of how to oh here's the other one. No, that's the one I just put down. Oh. Uh then I don't know where the I don't think it came with another one. Or is it in one of the one of the baggies I've not opened? No. The few students who know her uh know of her shorten her name to Fresnow, or Fresnow, or simply I call her. <laughs> you know what you're supposed to look for clues in? What? The instructions. They're right there, though. Yeah, I know, but it's, you're supposed to use the blue to make the blue stop showing up so you can see the... But I know what it looks like. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying you're... You are bypassing the solving part. Because my eyes are better than a child's. <laughs> like, gee willikers, what is that, chat? I can see what that is with my naked eye. It's a heart inside of a frame. And what's that? It's a heart. And what's that? It's a, uh... It's, um... The stand. It's an umbrella. <laughs> this thing is... It's the umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> no, you put them down in front of me. What do you think I was going to do? Uh, okay. Well, we can worry about this later. I'll put her stuff to the side. She's got a lot going on. I wasn't prepared for Abby to have a lot going on. So. Okay. Close over here. Alright, guys. One more, one more last look at Abby Bombable, uh, the Skultimate Secret uh, version of her. She's beautiful. She's pretty. We love her.